hi guys welcome back to mama soj vlog how are you guys doing if you are new here you are welcome and if you are returning subscriber god bless you as you always come back to watch my video my people no be smart you know one that shall never end my people and i'm not saying a different news now they land for my table and as they land for my table that's why they carry and call you to come share out with honor all right my people for today video go to wash out together with honor all right my people more could go watch the video to see what really the apple for inside the video my people I've never ever felt so ashamed of being a Nigerian. I've never felt this low about being a Nigerian. Nigeria is one country that I've always been proud of. This is my home, I don't have any other one. But for the first time, I've been so ashamed of the fact that this nation actually exists and not just exists, but it's supposed to have over 200 million people. 200 million people that have turned themselves to dumb slaves. You know, I watched the Ukra Ukrainian soldiers where they were singing that they would rather fight and die than to live as dumb slaves. And all that came to my mind was my country. My country and my people. We have turned ourselves to dumb slaves. People that should be in jail are the ones running around looking for to be the president of our country. People that should be in jail, that should never, ever, ever be allowed anywhere near power are the ones who are deciding what our future will be like. And guess what citizens are doing? They're busy complaining. They're busy praying to God, doing nothing and praying to God. These politicians are on, running all over the country, working so hard, going to Mecca, going to Jerusalem, going to churches, going to mosques, going to shrines, going to everywhere to ensure that they get into power and continue to enslave the people and continue to give bad governance. They are not sitting down at home and simply praying to God that things will work. A woman gave birth in captivity and it's not an issue in Nigeria. We simply have moved on. Soldiers are being beheaded and it is not an issue in Nigeria. We simply have moved on. Or we, 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 are, we are looking the other way and praying that we don't become victims while doing nothing. What kind of people are we? Every time you're sitting down exchanging WhatsApp messages, you're sending WhatsApp videos, you sit down in your corners, you're talking about how things are not working, or how this and that. You have not only enslaved yourself, but you're going to enslave your children, your grandchildren, and your great-grandchildren. Aren't we ashamed of ourselves? Can we just sit for a moment and say, Nigeria, sit for a moment. Let us be ashamed of ourselves. That in our own country, a pregnant woman was taken away. A pregnant woman was taken away by terrorists. She has delivered within terrorist captivity in captivity. And yet it is nothing. It is not election matter. None of these people who are saying they want to be president are talking about this thing. All they are talking about is their form, consensus, and this and that. We don't matter. Even if they want to make us slaves, must we allow ourselves to be made slaves? Some Nigerians are busy talking about 2015 election. When 2019 election have passed, 2023 election is by you. But looking at you, staring at us, we would rather... We would rather sit down and not do nothing and not do anything. Sit down and romanticize the past while doing nothing about the future. Sit down and be talking about 2015 election when they are going to enslave you again with 2023 election. 2022 is looking so similar to 2014 that it's so scary. All of these atrocities are being done and yet they are not electoral issues. If you don't make them election issue, who is going to make them election issue? The people that are coming, they want to be your president and whatever, they don't care. They want to continue. They want to continue to ride on your head because, of course, anybody that has dumb slaves, we continue to ride on their heads and use them, not only use them, but we ensure that their own children and their children's children use them. Our parents were enslaved by the parents of those people. They have enslaved us, and we want their children to enslave our children again. Are you not tired? When they ask you to come and do something, you say you can't do anything, but you can sit down and send WhatsApp messages. You can talk. You can talk about how Nigeria is no good. Nigeria is no good because you aren't doing anything. Because you have not stood up to say that you matter and that you are deserving of a country that fits you. 
You are ready to be like a slave in your own country where few people are running around. This is the time that Nigerians are citizens we have power. This is the time for you to use your power. This is the time for you to come out and ensure that these people do not get away. A woman is in captivity. She has just given birth in captivity. People were taken away over a month now. Nothing is being done about it. You think they don't pray? You think you pray more than they do? I've said it before and I'm going to say it again. Being a victim in Nigeria is no longer a matter of if, it's a matter of when. When will it be your turn? Are you going to sit down and do nothing? This is the time for you to decide who becomes the president of your country. This is the time for you to decide who becomes the governor of your state. This is the time for you to decide who becomes your senator, who becomes your House of Rep member, who becomes your State House of Assembly member, and you're here sitting down and doing nothing and feeling hopeless. This is the time that you have power. This is the time that that power that belongs to people is in your tongue, and you're supposed to use it. And what are we doing busy talking about nothing busy blaming each other busy insulting each other busy fighting each other for people who do not care absolutely do not care about you you think if they're not spoken about the woman who has given birth in captivity that they're going to speak to you if anything ever happens or they matter about they care about your life you don't matter to them all that matters is the, the thumbprint and they're going to buy it anyway. They will use your money to buy it. They will use your collective wealth to do it. And your city that fighting each other when you should be God working together to ensure that only people who are deserving of power, people who think you matter that will get there. How do you wait for people who do not think you matter to be in power? And you also make yourself not to matter. Think about it. Stop sending WhatsApp messages. That's not what your job should be. Your job should be coming together, united, bringing out your little change. Who are the people who have computer character capacity that are running for office? Donate your 1,000. Stop saying you can't do anything. Just say you don't want to do anything because you want the status quo to continue. You want corrupt people in position so that your own corruption will be hidden and you will continue it. Or one day you are aspiring to be there. Agree on that. Stop saying that you cannot do anything because the power you have so much power in your hand every time you're praying for a miracle and every four years a miracle comes that miracle comes in the form of election and if you do nothing about it whoo, you'll be that dumb slaves that you Ukrainian soldiers were singing about I'm tired of being a dumb slave and I will not allow myself to be a dumb slave what about you Think about it. My people now the video now on a new watch for this. So on a see what you for inside the video. Alright, my people, make na let me know what you on a thing for the comment section. And if you never subscribe, make na subscribe so that I no go miss any latest just we are the upload. On a bye bye till I come on a next time. Bye guys, that's my next video. Bye guys.